Hi, my returning listeners. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful time at your end. I really appreciate you. You keep on returning to this podcast to listen to one or two that I have to say. Um, I really appreciate you a lot. Um, and also for the new um, listeners, if you're just tuning in to this uh, podcast channel, Momziba Talk Daily Podcast, I'm very, very happy to have you here. This is a place where we'll talk about um, um, relationship issues that are really um, based on experience, everyday experience in our, in our relationship and uh, with um, other people relationship, okay? So Momziba is a certified emotion coach and also a relationship coach. So this is where we dissect issues that are uh, um, in conjunction in relationship with uh, general relationship. Okay, thank you so much. So um, this really pricked my attention and this is supposed not to be what I should be talking about, but I feel I should talk about this because it's becoming a new sense in the society. It's becoming something of utmost concern. It's becoming um, a thing of concern exactly. Okay, and um, I saw this today. I don't know, for yesterday, I posted a very, very um, touching um, talk on um, almost a similar issue as this okay and he killed her based on uh, suspicion so you can go on spotify at momziba talk daily podcast to listen to that podcast normally i don't do podcast programs on sundays um but i had to do that because i told you it pricked me it pricked my concern especially based on the um basis for the death of that woman. That issue happened actually in UK. I think I got the full um, gist today. Um, based on legit.ng, it's a news forum here in Nigeria. So I, I got it and um, I, I think um, the reason for um, that death was not supposed to be um, a baseline. All right, it's not supposed to have happened at all. Okay, there are many ways that you can react to emotions, and I don't think that going straight to killing someone is one of the reaction. Is one of the um, important or uh, one of a, a reaction that you should take um, without thinking about the aftermath. Okay, so today I'll be talking about this news I had this morning online on Facebook. Um, a man, okay, a female lawyer killed her husband because he noticed that or he found out that their houseboy, their maid, was the son of his wife, okay, and he has not known this ever before. And because of that, I think it led to issues in their relationship. And because of that, she killed him. So now, this happened. This happened. A female lawyer did this to her husband in Uyo here in Nigeria. Now, I'm putting this under the frame on the topic of you should not hide your past from the man you're getting married to. There's no need. There's no need for anyone to hide his or her past from your spouse to be this started actually um with what i'm saying based on some reasons i'm particular about this and i'm channeling this it's a call to all singles out there there is no reason to hide your past from your spouse to be I know this might sound kind of, you know, I had some ugly past. I had some past I'm not proud of. I have some past that can um, really chase out prospects from me. So why would you be telling me not to hide my past? 
let me be into the present first and then in future we can later talk about it when the past pops up this is a no-no from me okay this is a no-no from me i'm a wife i'm a mother i'm a certified emotion and relationship coach and i am talking about this based on things i've heard from people i've been in marriage and i'm still in marriage i know things that can really cause a lot of havoc in relationship like marriage now this is what i have to say to this issue why this death penalty everywhere why this death penalty you are a lawyer suppose you are a lawyer acclaimed and something led to something like fight in your home based on the reason that you were wrong starting from the very first issue you were wrong you kept this a secret from your husband you kept this a secret from someone you are expected to share the whole of your life with someone you swore to for better and for worse you kept the secret so 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 when this popped up that your houseboy was your son he found out one way or the other i don't know what led to the issue and he found out you are not supposed to be at maybe fighting spots with him the right thing to do is to you've done this normally everybody will be angry when definitely what they expect from you is not what they got so this time at this point standing from an emotion coaching aspect it is very very necessary that you have many opportunities many things to do like excusing him for some time and helping him to digest what he has just received the shock he has found out that you had this child before marriage maybe going away for him, from him for some time his presence for some time because sometimes i believe in the word that says out of sight is also out of mind at least within that uh, as um, stipulated time you ought to excuse him to digest it not standing at the war front fighting him knowing that someone who is angry can do anything what was your motive in the first place getting married to someone and a child has grown up as that to a talking stage you cannot tell your man that you once had a child before many single ladies go into relationship many single men go into relationship hiding their past from their spouse it is totally wrong no matter how dented no matter how bad your past is thinking your past could be it is very very of utmost concern that you let your partner to know that this thing has happened before it happened in my past i'm no longer living in my past but it's very very unfortunate that my pet chose to live with me. And here is the aftermath. I had the son. And who loves you, we go into the marriage with you. But if he or she does not love you, he can take a walk. You don't need to be shy of what you are no longer into. It's your past. Is a is is something that you led in before, but now you're no longer there. So why hide it? It's very 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 wrong. I don't know how the lawsuit is gonna take this, but what I'm saying is, this is very very wrong. No matter what, maybe she could stand at the at the centers of saying that she was actually defending herself and the man mistakenly slipped or she was actually defending herself and the man died the truth is that that is not coming to say what happened but i think if this was not programmed by you as a wife and a woman who knows the law a female lawyer here 
you are a lawyer you are brought up to understand that things things that happen like this most times does not need your immediate reaction in any way okay you married under the law and your marriage most time when it's beyond your your control you should leave it also to the law but you know what you did was wrong no matter what excuse you have to give it does not prompt you taking a life if this was not actually programmed by the same woman I don't think you would decide to bring your your child and make your make your child to understand that he, he should act as a houseboy as a slave as a servant in your house Okay, and that person agrees and concord to what you said and you are living with a man and maybe that man is giving him all the love or maybe the man is not even giving him the love. That is a very, very dangerous move. I am saying this because many ladies these days are doing the same thing. Especially my gender, you're doing the same thing. You should not be ashamed of who you were. You should not be ashamed of the consequences of what happened to you before you got to your present status. You should not be ashamed of it. You have two children, you have three children, and something happened in your marriage before, or something happened to you, and the marriage is no longer in existence, and you walked out of that marriage, or that marriage pushed you out of itself. You should not be ashamed of your truth. You should never be ashamed of your truth. It is very, very important that you let the man you are going into a relationship with, let him understand who you were before. Let him understand everything about you. Do you know the reason why I'm saying this? A lot of marriages, apart from this kind of issue of death, has been crushed down. A lot of some people are living in, in in their homes, but the love is long gone. Some people are living in their homes, the trust is gone. Some people are living in their homes um, and they're living living in, in shambles because of the lies that they founded that marriage on. That marriage was founded on lies. The same way this mar this woman founded her own marriage on lies and destroyed it by lies. I'm going to be giving you some reasons why any lady, any person should never hide their past from their man, from whoever they are settling with for a lifetime. See, marriage is not a day journey. Marriage is not like boyfriend and girlfriend courtship thing that they think you're just testing to see how it goes. Okay, now because of how the world has turned things to be, it's now like that. If it doesn't work well, I take a walk. But normally, how marriage started and how marriage format was supposed to be, according to what was swore on the altar, is supposed to be for better and for worse. That means to show that it's a long journey. There are, they, there are no conditions based on withdrawal whatsoever. Now, um, the reason why am I be telling you that you should not hide this because some people might be hiding on the cutting behind the curtain to say if I if I do this age is passing me by and I've told a lot of men that I was a social or a commercial worker before and they refused to settle down with me I told them that was my past and they refused to settle down with me I told them before I, I, I steal and they refused to sit down with me I told them I have four kids or three kids or six kids whatever it is and they refused to settle down with me so I have to come up with a new line just to lie so that they can get married to me when we get to the bridge we'll cross it who tells you that Sometimes you may never cross that bridge. You may never be able to cross that bridge. That is why it is very, very good that from the beginning, from the onset, truth is set as the basis for your marriage. Sometimes how people may react to it is not what comes first. What comes first is that you are playing and you are setting it on truth. On the basis of truth. Number one, trust and honesty. A solid foundation for any relationship ought to be built on trust and honesty. 
concealing your past from your partner can totally wash away this foundation and i know that you don't want it for yourself when trust and honesty has been uh, washed away from a relationship there comes in things like insecurities and doubt let me tell you it is very very hard to build trust that is that is why i normally tell people don't don't break trust don't break it because when you break trust it takes a long time to regain it trust can never be enacted on anyone you can't just wake up one day and say you have to trust me you have to trust me you have to trust me i have to trust you yeah but are you giving me the reason to that comes to another question you have to trust me you have to trust me you stole yesterday you have to trust me you have to trust me you stole this morning then what are the basis i'm trusting you on marriage fact you end trust in your relationship so when this trust is eroded away from the relationship it sure takes a long time to build it depends sometimes it can never be built anyways that is why you shouldn't hide your past you shouldn't hide it for anything for anything's sake no matter how the time is fast rolling, no matter how the pressure from your parents is to get married, from the society, from a lot of persons, you are the one going into that marriage. You should never hide your past. No matter how it is, you should be truthful about who you are. You should be truthful about your autonomy. You should be truthful about your autonomy. That is what speaks the authenticity about you. Now, on, on some other point, some people might say, okay, fine. So, okay, if I, if I try, to, uh, um, try to speak the truth and I try to tell him, so what next? So, what about if he walks away? If he walks away, he walks away because it was never meant for you. Most times, we should just try to, un we should just try to digest things and allow it to flow normally as it comes to us. I think there's no pressure. There's no pressure in the flow of life. Whatever comes to you and you pray is not what you expect, and you and you walk towards it is not what you expected. Sometimes you just accept that that's what the universe thing fits you for the time being. You just have to learn whatever that comes. You have to flow in the suit. Now, um, another point I'll be talking about is emotional intimacy. And people don't really know this aspect as an emotional um, coach. There's something about sharing your emotions with people, sharing your 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 past with people, okay? Sharing your ugly um, experience with people, sharing your sad part about you with people, sharing your weak form of you with people actually sprout out something that is unique i'm telling you based on what i found in my relationship before i got on with my husband and we became husband and wife i don't know what happened that night but we were actually talking i was actually talking about the awful part about me i was talking about that the things about me um that was i i'll be very very ashamed to talk with any other normal person out there and what happened? Immediately, I saw tears gush out from his eyes. He felt compassion on that story I was telling him about me. And the next thing was, will you be my wife? I was shocked. It was something that I was not proud of. I was talking about my family. I was talking about everything, that, you know. But immediately, he was like, would you be my wife? And there are there understood that there is something like this. Everything that happens in the universe is for a reason. Maybe if I hadn't had shared that kind of a path with him, he wouldn't have prompted him to really go on to tell me that word. Sharing your past experiences with your partner actually fosters emotional intimacy. Take my word for it. It allows you to con to, to connect on a deeper level and create an environment where both parties totally understand themselves most times and have been accepted. That actually are for people that are meant for you. 
So you don't you, you you might also be in a situation where you share your past with people and they just hiss on you and they just condemn you immediately and walk away. That person is not for you. You just have to let that person pass through the door because it's not yours. Keeping what's not yours, how long is it gonna be? So you just have to let him walk. It's better to have a heartbreak that will just last for some moment than have continuous heartbreak to you to, to you grow old and that. Single ladies, please listen to this. It is very, very key, and I'm very, very, I'm very, very particular about singles here because um, 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 this woman, if she hadn't made this um, um, ugly um, decision to live by this kind of a faith right from when she was single, I don't think she would have this kind of um, glitch in her marriage now where she has soaked herself in, which definitely, if the case is totally judged rightly, she might also lose her life or she might be in prison for life. And then what now happens to the family? If she already have a child with her husband, what happened to the children? I normally say like in the first, um, the other, um, last podcast I did, that's at years, um, years down 28th of April, I, I said, I said, now I'm not talking about what the couple says, uh, what the couple has, uh, has done. I'm talking about what the fruits should do, what the offspring have to do, how they have to deal with, with the societal um, 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 shame. That their parents has laid on them. How do they cope? How do they go? Uh, we couples must understand most times that we are not living for ourselves. Actually, when you are married, you are no longer living for yourself. You are now living also for your children. You are now living because of your children. Whatever you have to do, whatever action you are taking, whatever thing you are doing, um, if you've thought about it, um, uh, personally, you can digest it and you've officiate your spouse that he or she can digest it. Have you also put in your children in the shoe, believing they can also digest it? Have you thought about that? I'm also giving the um, credit of this uh, podcast to uh, Magic Mind. Magic Mind um, in California, thank you so much for sponsoring this program. I really um, enjoy your elixir and um, you're really great people. Thank you so much. In case you don't know, Magic Mind is a Alexa that helps boost mental productivity. All right. So you can go Google about them. And um, at the caption below, I'll be dropping some links that you can, especially for my listeners, so that you can get discounts on this particular Alexa. It helps a lot. In fact, this morning I took a shot on it and it keeps me at my utmost performance. So if you want to be at your utmost performance, uh, I'll indulge you to really use my discount code momzebra 20 all right and um go to uh, magicmind.com and book for your alexa it's really going to help you it helps boost mental performance it helps you um to be stress um, um free okay it helps you manage stress very very easily it helps you be at your optimal productivity in fact i think it's the first Word short productivity. Yes, you can go Google it. Magic Mind, thank you so much for picking this podcast, listening to this podcast there in the US and enjoying this podcast. I believe in you. I thank you for all your support. So back to what we were saying. Now, the third reason is that um, why I'm, I'm saying that you should, all right, avoid, um, you should uh, avoid hiding your past from your spouse is that transparency actually promotes st- st- stability. Yes, it's very true. When you're opening your communication about your past, it sure promotes stability in the relationship. It demonstrates your total um, willingness to be transparent and also to confront any challenges together as a team. And when you are in a marriage, you should understand that you are teammates. You are teammates, okay? You are not opponents. You are not co-competitors, all right? You are teammates. So whenever you are as a single, you are going into this form of marriage, into this phase called marriage, you should have in the front of your mind, I'm not saying the back now, you should have in the front of your mind that transparency is going to help you a lot in this marriage. If you are transparent, it's going to determine how stable your marriage is going to be. Okay, so you have to have this. 
Don't follow hearsay. Hearsay, I did this, I hid it from my husband the day he knew about my past, the day she knew about my past. I knelt down, I bought juice for her, I did all this blah, 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 and she forgot about it and all those. Let me tell you, when people find you not to be transparent, they can't entrust things to you. They can't entrust their whole lives to you. So when I say you are transparent with me, I can drop my life in your hands and walk away. Yes, I can do that. So it is very, very important that you put this in the front of your mind that transparent is going to help you build stability in your home. So, so you have to be transparent. You have to tell him everything. You have to tell her everything. I used to be a thief before. I used to be a killer. I'm into drugs. I'm into the, let her know everything about you. This will even make her, so if she's made for you, love you the more. Then if she's not yours, let her go. Now, lastly, I'm going to be telling you this. Whenever you think about hiding your past, just remember this. That when you hide your past, it cannot help you grow. It can never help you be the best of you. It can never help you... Um, get to the heights you wish to get to. Imagine this woman had told her husband she had a child before. Perhaps the man will have still loved her. Perhaps the man will have still been in the relationship with her. And maybe the man will have sponsored that child to school and not allowing that child to be a house boy. Okay. So it also allowed for the opportunity for growth. Sharing your past with your partner provides an opportunity for personal growth, mutual understanding, relationship growth, mindset growth, and everything. It allows both of you to learn from each other's experiences and support each other through any lingering issues. I'm not very, very pleased with this. I'm not very, very pleased with this. This issue I'm hearing right now, I'm not pleased with it. And if you are that person, you are hiding a very tangible thing from your spouse. After this podcast, it is very, very important and it's very, very key that you try as much as possible to let your partner know that. To people that have some account, personal account, and they don't let their partners to know. So tell me when something happens to you, what happens to that account? The money is gone. You build some houses, you don't let your wife or your husband to know. When something happens to you, what happens to the house? What happened to your, 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 your suffering, your gatherings and everything? It's gone to strangers who don't even deserve it. So if you're listening to this podcast, it's an opener for you. It's a pinch for you to be reminded that we don't have the whole time on this planet. We don't have the whole time. So the little time we are um, given, we should make what of it, okay? We should make it worthwhile, all right? So you have to start to sober reflect, okay? I'm just put it that way. If you've really done anything, you're hiding anything from your spouse, Anything it could be. It could be your past. The past that are not worth sharing. Okay, now you've heard. Before that person finds out himself or herself, please try. Let your partner know. This is what I've been hiding. I am truly sorry. If you need to go with your family member, do. If you need to go with your friend, please do. Let your partner understand that you love him. You love her. You're not hiding anything from him. You're not hiding anything from her. You want your relationship to grow. You want to be the best of you. That is why you're coming out. You are a bold personality. You are not a timid person. You are not a person that cannot um, stand um, to be responsible for his or her action. You are a responsible personality. That's why you are coming out to let him or her understand those things you've hidden. Why are you doing this? Because you don't want that person to find out him or herself. So that your relationship could be safe. And when you have children, so that your children could be proud of you. 
so that your children could be proud of the relationship that which they found their parents so that the society who has built good remarks about you wouldn't be let down when they found out that there are some glitches of some things about you that are wrong so i believe in stepping out being bold to tell my 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 past no matter how it is I want to let you understand that I'm not happy keeping it from you. So that's the shoes you're going to put yourself after now. If you were a married person. Now, if you are single, you pr you're planning to get married. You already have someone you're preparing marriage with. And there are some things you have not told him. You've not told her. Please trust your reasons that everything is going to work fine. And if you walk the opposite way after telling your truth, then allow the universe to give you the best. All right, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast this morning. I hope you sure enjoyed this digest with me. Until next time, I come your way again. That'll be tomorrow by God's grace. I want you to stay strong, stay kicking, and keep on building the best out of you and your relationship. Thank you. Bye now from your host, Mom Seaver.